Is there anything better than a freshly tinned soldering iron, even though this thing is older than hell? <laughs> okay, over on the bench, literally. <laughs> Had to clean some stuff out of the way to get in here. Had all these projects piled up. Um, relating to the Raspberry Pi Pico, uh, we talked about this before. I got a breakout kit. Treatix compatible. I'll put a link to it in the description. And this is a breakout board for the Raspberry Pi Pico. I mentioned in one of the videos that Chris sent me a pack of switches. <laughs> I had to turn back around to get those. I'll also link these in the description below as well. Why deck? What's going on here with these brand names? Three dicks is the breakout board. Twidic or Twidec, T W I D E C, are the switches. They didn't need to be fancy, but that's what he got me with pigtails. So that actually works out pretty good. It'll make the breakout board make a hell of a lot more sense. Okay. So we got our breakout board, we got our switches. Problem now, we have to assemble the breakout board. I was not looking forward to doing a bunch of soldering today, but <laughs> let's see that. Yep, yeah, that's our pins for that. I'm trying to get these in a logical assembly order. That goes down on the board. That goes down on the board. That goes down, and then these go down. Yeah, good. I was hoping everything was on track. Okay, so this is up on the board. Kind of get things in order somewhat, <laughs> just so you can get an idea of what's going on. I do really like, and I hope this stays focused well enough, the pins are actually marked out really well on the board, and that's a that's actually a good quality silk screen. That's not a crap silk, silk screen. You can feel that paint, I guess you'd say. Maybe you can hear it. You can bring it by the mic. <laughs> okay, so already, as you can probably see right there, I'm trying to turn around and check the focus on the camera. It's a little bit off, but that's about as sharp as I can get it. The pins on this header are not very well clamped in there. So I'm going to have to do this a little bit different. I thought I would do my circuit board trick or my uh, <laughs> breakout board trick to solder these in, and it's not working. So I may have to resort to, let's see, I don't know, maybe I can get these in there. Because the tension of that <laughs> socket there is not as, I mean, it's much stronger than the rest of them. So I'm going to try and just work these the best I can. mention how much I hate doing this. <laughs> it's one of those things it's like I thought I got rid of this need years ago. And it did get kind of spoiled for a while because you used to be able to reasonably buy things like this pre-done. Okay, so pardon me while I take the glasses off and put the cheaters on so I can see what I'm doing. All right, this I'm going to fast forward through so you don't need to watch the entire process.
Okay, now let's move on to part two. Means that we now need to get this off of <laughs> our breakout board. Oh, do 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 do. A little high right there, but that'll do. All right, so now the next step. And I need to get these on there. <clears throat> okay, I can carefully through that later on, but for right now. Let's get this seated all the way. Okay, so now this is actually needs to go on there that way. So we're going to seat that like that. And now we're going to turn this upside down. I love that they give you all the extra space in the middle. Like if you wanted to put a tiny buck converter or something like that, you now have this big gap in here so you have plenty of room to build in a buck converter or whatever you need to build in let's make sure i'm oriented right we'll <laughs> take this out one more time there's my usb there's my usb oh now we're oriented put this over and start soldering this together and again i will fast forward through a lot of this not fast forward, but <laughs> time lapse a lot of this. So we don't have to drive each other crazy here. Yeah, other than cleaning up a little bit of flux, that one looks pretty good. But I won't do the flux cleanup until we've finished all of our parts. Okay, so this slightly unorthodox clamp. <laughs> but it works to hold these screw terminals in place. I'm just going to leave it there long enough to get a few of these. Locked in, I'm gonna reach my tip a little bit. Come on, there you go. I just wanna get a few of these locked in place. Made it a lot more stable. Duh. <laughs> right, let's get back over here. Okay, now I'm just gonna solder these in. Right there. <laughs> 
This is almost where you need one of those good quality cordless screwdrivers sometimes with a real fine point. All right. And there we go. <laughs> Soldering is not perfect. A little out of practice, but everything lines up. Everything's solid. And the fit is good enough.